I predict your next meeting will be a huge success. You have found America's motivational speaker with the magic touch. The professional communicator who also listens and will drive home the theme of your meeting. Yes, this is it. You have found Tom Britton. And that's what you can do. You can take your business and take it to the next level and make it even better. Even though it looks like it's empty, you share the dream with someone else. Ah, oh, it's amazing. You know what you end up getting? You end up getting a gift out of the deal. Say, well, I shared the dream once. I shared the dream once and they weren't very receptive and I'm just not too anxious to do it again. Not everybody's gonna be receptive. Share the dream when you do. You'll get a gift. And it just keeps on giving. That's the beautiful thing about sharing the dream. There are people out there looking for a dream. They're looking for a career. You found it. In the next two days, there's a celebration of that. Let me ask you a question. How do you feel? How do you feel about sharing the dream? Do you mean it? Yeah. All right. Then if you mean it, get out there and do it. There's another gift waiting for you. Thank you for letting me be with you. Yes, since 1989, this former top-rated chief executive officer has dedicated his professional speaking career to working with meeting planners and corporate management to deliver quality information in an entertaining and memorable way. So it was easy. We just put the customer first. We just started looking at things from the customer's point of view. For example, when they came over to the check writing stand to fill out their deposit slip, I said, you know, we're really sending a wrong message to our customers. We're sending a message to them that we don't really trust you. <laughs> How would it be if we took the chains off our pins? Our cashier said, well, steal the pins. <laughs> One of our tellers said, yeah, but we could get cheap pens. So we ordered a gross of cheap pens. I mean, they were cheap. They wrote for a day or two. They'd steal them. We'd throw them all out there. <laughs> After a couple of months, we put the chains back on. <laughs> but, uh, the, the point is, though, we were willing to take a chance and try something new. We had a water fountain in our bank. And, you know, we found out it was the little things you do for your customers that make the biggest difference. We had a water fountain, a temperamental water fountain. When people would go over to get a drink, this is what you'd see many times. <laughs> and they'd look around like, did anybody just see me make an idiot of myself? I, was, I said it was temperamental. Sometimes you'd go up to this fountain and, and nothing would happen. Now I could always tell those folks that were raised in the country because they would begin pumping. <laughs> Like, like, that's really going to make a difference. We spent $67.50, had a great plumber come in, they fixed it, we eliminated an embarrassing moment. But one thing I'll never forget, we opened at 9 in the morning. And at 9 o'clock one morning, this is what I saw. Customer walks up the steps to the front door. <laughs> and he catches the eye of one of our new accounts reps on the other eye, and she's going... <laughs> He's going, and I'm going, this is crazy. Here's a nice man, wants to bring us some money. And we're arguing about whose watch is right. <laughs> so we, we started unlocking our door at five minutes till nine. We never asked anyone, we didn't post it, we just did it. Give me a favor, Rob, could I have your right shoe, please? Right shoe. There we go. Thank you. Now, why, why did Rob give me his right shoe? 
I asked for it. Okay. Would he give his right shoe to anybody who asked for it, do you think? No. no? <laughs> He's big enough to give it to whoever he wants to. I asked for it. I asked for it. He wouldn't give it to just anyone. Why did he give it to me then? Not just because I asked for it. Why else? He trusts me. He knows me. People do business with people they know and trust. Throughout Tom's years in corporate management and association leadership, Tom, like you, had to sit through his share of unprepared speakers. You know the kind I mean. Let's watch as Tom makes fun of such a moment. Well, I, uh, I assume that, that we would have an overhead projector here tonight. I, uh, we hadn't talked about that, but I assume you would. The hotel said it was too late to get one. But maintenance had the flesh. It's just not going to work. I wonder, Chuck, can you see this? What it is, it's, it's the life cycle of the corporation. We start off with the embryonic stage, and then to growth and then to the mature stage, and then to the eighth. What I might do is, is leave these down front. When Tom Gritton blends his talent as a motivational speaker, skilled magician, and CEO, the result is an exciting, customized presentation that will inspire your group to action. They'll learn, laugh, and have their spirits levitated. Not the symptom, what's the problem? Transfer it to paper. Now, once you've done that, now you're halfway there with solving your problem. But now keep your magic wand handy. It's a pen or a pencil. Because ideas will swim by, and you'll have to harpoon them. Write them down. Go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll wait. And then, if it's not a crisis, forget the problem. Have you ever tried to remember someone's name? The more you thought about it, the more it escaped you. And the minute you put it out of your head, it pops into your mind. Same thing. Once you've written a problem down, forget it. Then it may be in the shower one morning as you're having lunch with someone, or, or just before you go to sleep, a solution, or a partial solution, will pop into your mind. And guess what happens to the problem? It's gone. Yeah, that's exactly what happens to it. Hello, I'm Tom Britton. I want to take just a moment to thank you for viewing this video brochure. I know how busy you are. I also know how important it is to get a good return on your investment. That's why it's important for you to know that the time we'll invest together will pay off in big dividends as we have a successful event. Your people will leave with a spring in their step, a, a smile on their face, and a message inscribed on their hearts. I had a touch of magic to my presentations because I found that it helps people remember the key points. So let's add the magic touch to your next successful event and make it one that'll long be remembered. When you go back home, you're going to be all pumped up. Not even need a plane to get back home. So oh, I'm so ready to go. The only problem is when you get back home, you've also gone back to reality. Unless you live in California. When you get back to reality, you're gonna find the world will come at you with a very sharp needle. Like this one. You can bring the house lights down now. Folks are going to want to burst your bubble. And it shouldn't be that way. That's why it's important that the vision you've captured here is one that you believe with all of your heart. You got the right attitude. Huh. 
power of thought was fantastic. Can you really believe it? And that's what I like about this group. Best, you got the best product. Now it's up to you to bring your standards up to meet the product standards. And every day, give it your best shot. Change, yeah. New ways of thinking, taking things to the next level. Because they're going to people be people who say, you can't do that. Why, it's never been tried before. Somebody tried it and it didn't work. But they're going to tell you, that's the dumbest idea in the world. I can prove to you in four words, there's no such thing as a dumb idea. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. But if it's something you believe in, if it's something you've put a pencil to, you've used your engineering and your scientific background and said, hey, let's try it! All of a sudden, you're not going to burst your bubble. In fact, what you're going to be doing is sewing up your future. Magic was done with mirrors. Well, it was. If you don't believe that, tomorrow morning, when you wake up, look at that mirror on the ceiling, take a good look. Because the magic of TriStar lies right within you and the choices that you make each and every day. Thank you for letting me close your conference. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Britton, let's give him a hand. Tom Britton, ladies and gentlemen. Tom Britton, all the way from Houston. Show him the TriStar spirit. If your conference includes a spouse or a partner program, here's an added bonus at a very special rate. It's master ventriloquist Dina Britton's popular program, Unwrapping the Gifts of Life. Using magic, music, and a little help from her friends, Dina will help us to look at career and family with a new point of view. Her interactive session shows how today's frustrations can become tomorrow's precious moments.